Why does she have on a cowboy hat on this Friday afternoon? This is the only hat I own and I'm having a really bad hair day. So I think that people usually wear hats when they have a bad hair day or wear their hair up, but I'm trying to make a hair video. So I'm wearing a cowboy hat because it's the only hat I own on a Friday. <laughs> on a more real note, I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial for you about crimping because I've worn my hair like crimped a few times. It's finally coming back in style. Oh. Oh. And I've gotten a lot of compliments and whenever I put things on like Snapchat and stuff, people always ask me, how'd you do your hair like that? And uh, it's not because I can braid because I cannot braid my own hair. So I'm gonna show you guys how I crimp with my Amazon crimper. Yeet. Here is my gem of an Amazon find. It is my pink crimper. It says Allure on the side. I have the um, link for this and I'm gonna put it in the description box below so if anyone wants to buy it, you can go on ahead. It gets up to, who knows Celsius? 210 degrees Celsius and it goes down to 80 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure what that means either. I crank that bad boy all the way to the top at 210 and it heats up really quick. It looks like this. Um, it has some prongs on one side and a flat end on the other. I love using the crimper whenever my hair is like one day old. One day old. Like as in I showered yesterday and it's like looking a little flat, a little weird. I think it's like, in my opinion, I don't know, I think it's maybe healthier for your hair to crimp it. No, heat's not great, but if you're gonna do anything, maybe crimping your hair other than straightening because you're not like pulling on it and it's just like quick, bop, 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 bop. So I'm gonna show you guys how I crimp my hair. I will put some pictures of myself here, 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 if I can figure that out. Here's a photo of me. Here's a photo of me. Here's a photo of me. I think I only have three. The first thing that I do whenever I crimp my hair is spray it with some heat shield. This is by Lange, 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 Lang. You know, you know, I think I got like scammed into a pyramid scheme buying this on Facebook, but honestly, I think it works. I don't know, I use it every time, so hopefully it's working, but yeah, it came in this package of all these different oils and sprays that I got whenever I bought my wand, and this is what I've been using. So it is very sticky. Um, I don't like to like spray it on the hair. I personally like to spray it in my hand and then put it in my hair because it's really sticky and like kind of thick and I have thinner hair. So the first thing, I said the first thing I was gonna do was put this in my hair, but the first thing that I'm going to do is part my hair. I have thin-ish hair, like I have a lot of thin hair. If that makes any sense to you guys? At least that's what my hairdresser told me. Um, and I only part my hair into two separate parts. One, the top one the bottom. I may part it a little bit more whenever I'm doing like the face pieces just to get some out of the way and make sure I get everything, but I'm mostly just doing two main sections. Once you have your hair parted into however much you need to do it, um, if you have thicker hair, do more than one. I'm only gonna do one. Um, the process is really dang easy and that's why I like it. So you're gonna want to, where this pulls up with your finger, you want this on the top of your hair, pointing out away from your face, these prongs. So you're gonna go in, start at the top, and pick out a little section. Put it there, one, two, three. 
One, two, three. My dog is opening my door. Hello, dog. And voila, your first piece is done. She looks really cute. So you start at the top, closest to your head. Let it sit for a second. After you let that sit, which way do I turn? You move down right to where it ended the last time. Ones that are closer to your face, if you have layers like I do or like framing your face, you may only need to clamp once, but I always leave a little bit of hair at the bottom. Voila. You don't actually need to count, obviously, but it is like for my hair, it takes no time at all. I guess maybe because it's super thin, but this whole process maybe takes like 10 minutes from start to finish. So this side is already almost done and it's looking super cute. I kind of fluff it up as I go but it's really gonna fluff up the most at the end whenever I spray it with some volumizing stuff and hairspray. Now it actually looks like the bottom pieces are done. Um, the bottom layer is done. I'm gonna check it out in my mirror. Hopefully the camera can see everything back there. Don't judge my hair that is growing right here. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. So I totally lied. I'm going to um, part my hair again with just this top layer put up. I brought a little bit more down in between the top layer and the layer that we already have done. I'm going to clip that up at the top. I've been using this to get it out of my face so it don't look so weird, but normally I would just leave it. And then I'm gonna go in on this layer. So again, with the prongs up, Start at the top, closest to your head. Wait a second. Move it down, basically to where you just stopped. Same thing. And then a little more. You can even pull it down to adjust where you wanna be. And that is going to be what makes your nice wavy piece. I just realized I accidentally turned off my crimper and that's why it was looking so terrible. How's your day? It's so weird. Like whenever you actually turn on the crimper, it starts working. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my life. This is real. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. If I can do this, a monkey could do this. I'm not talented with hair at all. Like, this is, this is it. So I might just leave it like this. I really think I'm liking, um, this look a little more. What are your thoughts? Comments down below. All right, people, we're getting there. We are to the top layer right now. All of my hair is down, but I'm gonna switch it up on you. So, like I said before, it has a prong piece and a flat piece. So the flat piece is actually what we are going to be pointing away from our head this time. The whole rest of your head, I want you to put the prongs up at the top. But for the top piece, we need a little more volume. So we're gonna do the flat piece outside. So I will show you. Flat piece up, one little section of hair. Let me part that a little bit better. Flat piece up, but same motion. And you have like a little line at first, at least I do, but 
once you like fluff that up, it goes away. But see how this is waving the opposite way from all the other hair? I probably am gonna go over it again because it looks a little flat. I'm going over that front piece again and I'm gonna make myself wait a little bit longer. Yeah, opposite way waves. And then where those lines are, I just kind of like scratch it out. Lift it up, scratch it out. So much volume. So on the top layer, you can do every other one like that. So the next piece that I'm going to do that's closest to the one that I just completed, I am going to go with the prongs up, normal, the light up, fingers up, the handle up. This is just normal. probably wait longer I just can't I can't wait I can't I want to be done with that when I wait it looks so much better like the dip is just so much more evident and then the next piece I'm probably gonna go flat side up I did every other one with the flat side up and I think it gives great volume and it's gonna get even better whenever I put some uh, hairspray and stuff in it but yeah I think it looks really really good and just remember you can always go over the pieces again that don't um, completely look the best that they possibly can um, go over those pieces and it actually sometimes looks better because you get a little more of a variety of wave so don't be afraid to do that the other thing that I want to make sure I mention on this side whenever I go in is that whenever you're crimping your hair, I found that the best thing to do is make sure that your hair is flat. Like, don't bunch it up like this, like you're braiding it or something. Like, a better example like this, like don't bunch it up. Make sure it's all laying flat because that's going to be what gives you the best volume possible. And see that like line it does look weird but as soon as you like fluff it up at least in my hair it just goes away it's kind of crazy like be gone and I have this little piece it literally looks like a mustache The longer you hold, the more evident the wave is going to be. Like, if you're just really quick, like clipping through, then it's obviously not gonna be as evident. But if I hold it for a long time, like if I get distracted by talking, look how much wavier that is. So much wavier. This piece, is superior to all others. Be like that piece. It's looking like we're pretty much done, but I'm just gonna go over a few little pieces and make sure that they're looking like the best that they can. And then I'm gonna spray and then we're gonna be done. So another tip that I have for you is if your hair is anything like mine, I can finish the whole thing and then I'll go back to the first pieces that I did and it will like be flat or not curly or whatever style I'm doing it will just not look the same so I'm holding on to this piece right here because I just saw it it's looking like I definitely did it but it's looking like a little flat so I'm just gonna go back and do that before I spray okay so we're looking good we got the hair all done um, I haven't sprayed anything yet, but it's looking really cute. I don't think that I missed any pieces, but yeah, we're kind of looking like a poodle, but like a fashion poodle. So I'm going to spray with this texturizing spray. I know some people use this before, but I kind of 
of like to do it after. Like it's kind of like you just go to the beach and hello, Bloomy. Hello. I kind of like to spray it with this like sea salt spray. It just makes me feel like I'm at the beach. It makes me feel like I'm giving myself a little more natural wave. And I think it looks really pretty after I do that. And then I also have this Bedhead TGI Full of It Volume Flexible Hairspray. I just want to say this isn't very flexible. It's like hardcore. So go in with a light hand and kind of further away. Another good tip is spray from the bottom and kind of scrunch it up. Oh my gosh, if scrunching ever comes back, like for people that don't have extremely curly hair, like we all used to try to scrunch our hair and it looks so greasy. If that ever comes back, I'm out. Okay, everyone, this is the finished look. I hope that you like it. I think that it looks super cute and just like kind of fun and free. It just makes me feel like I really hope that this video helped you. If you don't own a crimper, I definitely suggest getting one because it's just another style that you can wear your hair, like straightener, or curling, whatever it may be. I just think that this adds a lot of nice variety, especially if you don't have naturally wavy hair or if you do, it can add some nice waves into your hair. I just think that it looks really pretty. And the one that I got on Amazon is like, 100% reliable, like very nice, good quality, and it can probably get to you pretty fast. So I will link that down in the description box. While you're down there, make sure you look at all the places that you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, whatever else there may be. And I will link everything else that I have on if that is something that you guys are interested in. So thanks so much for watching. I'm really glad that you joined me again, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Peace out.